Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. I'm Deepa and today we'll be talking about the PMD PCIe slot power measurement adapter. So as the name says, it is a power measurement adapter for your um, PCIe slot and it works by connecting uh, an EPS cable to this adapter for reading the power used by your uh, GPU on the PCIe slot. So, um, uh, it is rated for PCIe 4.0 uh, x16 and we'll be unboxing it and I'll also show you how to connect it to your system and how it works to the PMD. Okay. So we can already see the PCB of this adapter and sadly I do not have a box to actually unbox today because I received it with this PMD USB uh, box and there's a PMD USB-C inside of it. Um, and for this reason I do not have the cables that it comes with when you will uh, purchase it on the site. So, um, there are two cables and one is a PCIe 6-pin uh, to 4-pin EPS connector, um, cable, sorry. And basically what you'll uh, do with it is connect the 6-pin uh, PCIe, the cable that goes into your GPU, uh, to this female connector and then uh, it will transform it into a 4-pin EPS. Sorry if I take this, uh, this much time, but I usually confuse these two. Uh, and there's also a 4-pin uh, EPS extension. Basically, it's just a 20 centimeter, if I'm not wrong, extension cable for the 4-pin EPS that will go from your CPI, uh, sorry, CPU power to this adapter. So as you can see on this board there is also um, what looks like an I2C connector but I also asked Elmer about it and it does not serve any purpose for this video so I'm not gonna use it or uh, show you in any way how it works because I do not know as well and I'm just gonna limit myself to show you how it reads power from this uh, PCI, sorry, EPS 4 pin connector. Okay, so as you can see, I took the PMD USB out of its box and I'm gonna show you how to connect the adapter to your PMD and the rest of the system. So I'm doing it on this desk before uh, actually doing it on the system because it's a mess, my test bench is a mess and it might be hard to actually comprehend how to connect everything so I'm oversimplifying this on my desk right now. So as you can see uh, we have um, an 8-pin EPS cable from the PSU that I actually unplugged before uh, shooting it and we have the uh, PMD EPS cable. So, as you can see on this side of the uh, PMD, there's the um, from PSU writing, and we're gonna connect the EPS from PSU right here. And we will have the uh, PMD cable that uh, it has a 8-pin um, fixed connector and these two 4-pin separate ones. You're gonna connect the 8-pin directly to the exit of the PMD and these two 4-pins, are you can slide them together to have a full 8-pin um, EPS connector but we're gonna just use 4-pin and then we're gonna connect this cable to this side of um, the adapter and it actually does not plug in because yeah um, I do have a little problem here
Okay, we finally plugged it in and yeah, it's uh, it was a bit tricky. Uh, I guess it's just because I do not have the cable. I, I should have probably listened to Elmore and get the cables anyway. But I didn't. <laughs> so I'm here cutting cables, basically. Or modifying connectors. So that's actually how you connect these uh, PCIe power measurement adapter to your system. It will go into the PCIe slot, GPU on top, and you'll be able to read how much power this PCIe uh, slot holds. So do not forget this to PSU, PMD to adapter. That's pretty much it. So the next shot will probably be at uh, my task bench and it's not gonna be easy at all because it's a freaking mess. So see you later. Okay, so unfortunately I cannot show you much of it working because my task bench decided that it doesn't want to get into Windows like posts. I can get into the BIOS, but it doesn't want to get into Windows and I do not know why. But I can show you how to cycle um, through the power readings uh, on the PMD and show you that it actually is working. So this is GPU power. I connected the cables to the GPU, the PCIe cables, and we can see that it is reading uh, 6 watts used on the EPS1, uh, sorry, PCIe1 connector and PCIe2 connectors. Then there's CPU power, it's only 4 watts. The CPU is not connected as of now. The CPU cable uh, that is connected to the PMD actually goes here to the um, PMD PCIe adapter, as I showed you in the last clip. And then we can see the uh, per connector power reading and it's pulling 7 watts on the PCIe1. That's a thing that my 560 Ti does. I do not know if any other GPU does it, actually, because I never checked. But uh, when it's idle, it only uses one connector. It appears to be the PCIe1. And the second PCIe6 uh, pin is not actually used, as you can see now. It's reading 0 watts. And then we have EPS1 with 4 watts and it's connected to our adapter. Um, obviously EPS2 is not connected to anything, so it won't read anything. That's pretty much it. Even if I try to boot into Windows, it shouldn't. Again. And even if, if it will work now, yeah, it doesn't. Even if it works now, it's a um, CPU bench is only OS, so I do not have any 3D bench and processes activated on this OS to actually run a GPU. And that's unfortunate. I cannot find my other SSD. So, either way, after this monologue, if you any have uh, any further question, uh, don't worry, uh, ask them in the comments or join our Discord that I leave the link uh, of into the description. I also leave the link to our shop and the product. And see you later. Have a nice day.